What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am so sorry that I am a day late and a dollar short on this news. Uh, I'm finally back in the building at my job. I've been working from home for 15 months, and so I've just been getting run ragged. Uh, and also, too, because I wanted to wait and see if Konami said anything a day or two after they announced this, which they did. We now have a Dawn of Majesty premiere event. But Konami is kind of bringing back events. Kind of. So as you can see here, July 1st, 2021, they say all their typical bullshit stuff. Uh, but they say here that we've continued to closely monitor developments and updates related to the pandemic. It's non-existent anymore. As state, regional, and local openings have continued to progress daily, based on local guidelines and regulations, we are allowing stores in the United States to open for sanctioned in-store organized play and events starting Thursday, July 15th at each store's discretion and where allowed by local regulation. We encourage OTS owners, staff, and duelists to follow local, regional, and federal health and safety guidelines. We recommend that stores ask duelists con to confirm they're fully vaccinated or have tested negative before letting them participate in tournaments. That's never going to fucking happen. They, these OTS stores want their money that they've been losing for over a year now. We also highly encourage store personnel and duelists to follow bullshit is basically what it says. And then they talk about how um, they want to bring back events in Canada and Latin America. Um, they're closely working with their contacts there. So I saw a lot of people on Twitter getting excited about this, but here's what I want you to keep in mind. This is organized play for locals, right? So I can think of in my area only one store that wasn't doing any sort of card game events because of COVID, but yet I can also think of another card shop that basically just said, we're doing events, but we're not doing events. And even though they were an OTS store, from what I understand, they were essentially just not telling Konami that they were doing stuff and just sort of going by their own discretion because that is their own business. They don't have to run events through Konami if they don't want. They could just say, hey, this is a unsanctioned tournament. You know, we're not going to run a little mini regional or anything. It's going to be for a box or a case. You know, look at like what PPG is doing. They've been doing in-person events for months. So this is a great first step in the right direction. I'm hoping that maybe by the end of this month, they will say, hey, look, starting August 15th, we're going to start hosting regional events. And I think that may be what happens because think about it. The remote duel is going to be over uh, pretty much like this time next week. This time next week is going to be starting because right now it's July 3rd. Um, and then we can be looking at like premiere events like in August, you know, Dawn of Majesty premiere event, August 7th and 8th. You know, we can start getting, I mean, premiere events are basically sneak peeks, let's be honest with ourselves here. Uh, but we can start getting back into the swing of things of that. Um, and I, I was tempted to not say this in this video, but I think it needs to be said. I really urge you, as a viewer of this video, to not participate in the remote dual YCS. Now, why do I say this? I say this because, one, I feel it's just going to be a fucking shit show. You know, you're going to have people cheating. You're going to have people printing off cards from their printer to use in their deck, which apparently some schmuck did, and then he talked about it on, like, Zodiac Duelist, and he got banned. Um, but I also don't want people to participate in the remote dual YCS because I really want people to send a message to Konami of saying, hey, screw this. Remote duels are dumb. People can easily cheat. We want in-person play. And Konami bringing back events to local card shops and things, their OTS stores, is a fantastic first step. Do not get me wrong. However, I still feel that the community should speak with their wallets and say, look, we're not going to put up with this shit. We want to play in big events. We want to play in a real YCS at a real convention center with real smelly ass people in bathrooms. <laughs> and travel and have a good time with this game so i really encourage you if you plan on participating in the remote dual ycs to not do it plus they want to charge you 12 fucking dollars for a online event that's going to probably be ran terribly come on now like remote dual extravaganzas are one thing but you're talking about a whole ycs come on son like nah pimp we don't got time for that but looking to the future august 7th and 8th will be our, I'm pretty sure, our first ever premiere event since Konami, you know, took away, or not took away, but stopped doing sneak peeks and renamed them premiere events.
which I really don't know what the hell the difference is supposed to be, quite honestly. You get your five packs, a sneak peek card, and then a mat and a field center that you can win off a of raffle, so I don't know what the hell is the difference. But anyway, um, I'm looking forward to this. I am cautiously optimistic because I could have gone to locals anytime I wanted to. I'm still not going to buy any cards, and I highly suggest that you do not buy cards either, whether it be online or buying sets or what have you, because I think that it's still better to just ho still hold off for now just a little bit longer and wait and see what Konami says, because they could very well, at the end of July, say, look, we are postponing regional and in-person YCS events for another month or two. So this is a very great big step in the right direction that they could have done months ago, but I still think that we need to speak with our wallets and, and say, look, we need those big events back because that's the only way that this game is going to thrive and survive. You can have local play all you want, but we've been seeing local card shops do this for months. PPG has been hosting events for months. I have I'm not going to name them because I don't want to potentially get them in trouble with Konami. But there is a local card shop in my part of the world here in Florida that has been running events for months. Um, and they have been fine. Uh, another local card shop canceled all play. And you can only go in to, you know, buy cards or, you know, whatever, sell cards to them, things like that. So, guys, this is a fantastic step. I'm really excited to be getting back into playing events on a regular basis. And once events do come back in full swing, you can expect daily uploads on this channel because I've got so much theory and so many things I want to discuss going back into the, the competitiveness of Yu-Gi-Oh! and not just playing online and getting my ass beat with my inconsistent Flunderies deck I'm still messing around with. <laughs> and just getting back to normal... Yu-Gi-Oh! Getting back to that camaraderie. It's going to be a beautiful thing, you guys. So be sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Be sure that you keep up to date with this news. And please do not participate in that remote dual YCS. Send Konami message with your wallet and say, look, you did a great thing bringing back OTS stores so that they can do events. But don't think that you can give us this tiny little olive branch just so that you can still fuck us over by making us pay $12 for a remote dual YCS that is probably going to be a shit show. I can almost guarantee you that. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope to see you at a future event very, very soon. And I will see you in the next video.